welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Donatello and this is The Way. We are reading Jesus Calling, a 365 daily devotional written by Sarah Young, talking about peace in Jesus's presence. It is April 25th and we're jumping in. Make me your focal point as you move through this day. Just as a spinning ballerina must keep returning her eyes to a given point, to maintain her balance, so you must keep returning your focus to me. Circumstances are in flux and the world seems to be whirling around you. The only way to keep your balance is to fix your eyes on me, the one who never changes. If you gaze too long at, a, at your circumstances, you will become dizzy and confused. Look to me, refreshing yourself in my presence and your steps will be steadily and sure. This comes from Hebrews 12 2. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And Psalms 102 27, but you remain the same and your years will never end. I love that they talk about a ballerina and how a ballerina has to have a focal point because this is so important in our Christian walk. If we don't keep God as our focal point, we will be so distracted, we will fall to sin, fall to our flesh, and we will literally put him on the back burner. But what's so important about a ballerina getting a focal point, right? Any ballerina needs to point something out on the wall, on the ceiling. They need to have something they're staring at because they're going to be twirling a lot and twirling and twirling and twirling. And if they don't keep their eyes on that one spot, they'll fall over. They'll get dizzy. They won't be able to perform at their optimum ability because they're letting all of their actions now affect their body and their performance. It's the same with us. We keep our eyes on the throne, on the one who created us, the one who sent us, the vessel in which we are acting as, he who is within us. That's who we keep our eyes on. And when we keep our eyes on him, we can spin and we can twirl and we can do whatever we want in this world, but we will not be dizzy, we will not be moved. Our feet will not move off the rock. We will be so certain in our walk in our faith because our eyes are on he who sent us. I love it says, uh, returning her eyes to a given point to maintain her balance. So you must keep returning your focus to me to keep proper balance in your life, proper balance in your faith. You have to keep your eyes on a focal point. And what better focal point than our creator the one who controls everything, who created you, who sent you out for a purpose, who knows every step you're taking. He is the one we keep our eyes on. And when we keep our eyes on him, that doesn't mean that there's not gonna be storms that come, dizziness and craziness and chaos. That'll all come in our lives. That for sure will happen. But our eyes are on Christ. We create a focal point of Christ and so we are not taken down by the chaos. We're not confused, we're not lost, we're not dizzy and disarrayed. No, we're firm because our eyes are on our focal point. Our eyes are on Christ. The only way to keep your balance is to fix your eyes on me, the one who never changes. If you gaze too long at circumstances, you will become dizzy and confused. When we try to look at our circumstances, we try to look at the problem and we tend to stare at it too long or the thing we said and we're like, why didn't we say that? Oh, I could have said this and I could have said that. Why did I send that text? Why did I say that to this person? Why did I go there? Why did I do that? How come I'm in this situation? And we sit and we focus on it to the point where we're fixating and now that's all we can think about. And our mind is off our focal point and onto the problem, onto the dizziness and that never, ever ends well. We become consumed with our problem. 
and consumed with other people's problems as a result because we tend to seek other people when we're focusing on our problems so we can have someone co-sign for us and tell us that what we're doing is validated. But God never changes. He remains the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Always will be the same. He can fix your problem with a bat of his eye. Look to me, refreshing yourself in my presence. Your steps will be steady and sure when you are spinning around in life. It's easy to become dizzy and distracted. Keep your focal point because you will stay steadfast and God will reward your obedience. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to just put him in the place he belongs and to keep him there. When situations start to arise, remind yourself of the ballerina. She needs to have a focal point. Otherwise, she will fall. You need to have a focal point, a center of your attention, a place your mind goes right back to. Otherwise, you will fall. And you will fall hard and you will stay down until you realize who is there to lift you up. God is here for you in all ways. His mercy is new every single day. He loves you so much. If you are here, it is not by mistake you are meant to hear this message. I love you guys so much. God loves you so much. I will see you back later.